This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. The Kingdom of East Anglia saw the birth of their greatest son, an Anglo-Saxon warrior destined to be a champion for the ages and a national treasure for all time. For my top games of 2019, uh, you know, all of these have been on different lists for one reason or another. But when I look at this list, I think of all how great these games are, um, and how much they 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 stood out. Um, and they kind of go up and down on different lists, but. Um, Honestly, this is just my opinion of what I thought were great games that came out this year in 2019. So without further ado, let's head right to it. Number 10, Set a Watch. Uh, you heard it as a solo experience game. Uh, by the time you see this, hopefully uh, that's already played or maybe now you know that it's on that list. But um, Set of Watch is just a fantastic game, and it caught me by surprise, and it is a game that was introduced to me by Aldi, and I will am forever indebted to him. Uh, Keith also uh, pointed it out, and once I got it, I was never disappointed. At number nine is a very old game, but they came out with a legacy edition, and I just... This just stood out. A matter of fact, we did some goofy solo live thing that I did, and uh, we had a lot of fun with it. And that's Fantasy Trip Legacy Edition. I just thought it was fantastic. Um, there's so much to this. You get so much to it. It reminds me so much of the Ogre Box, and just really, really stands out to me. Um, at number eight is uh, a game that I've started playing quite a bit and I feel that it deserves to be on this list because of the times that I've been able to get in with it. Uh, we just got to get it on camera and that's, I just didn't want to flood it, you know, put make another video because there's 9,000 videos of this out there and that is Marvel Champions. Uh, just fantastic, uh, solid, wonderful and I just can't wait to see what they keep coming out with. Uh, I, I want to see the Fantastic Four. I want to see Space. I want to see Guardians of the Galaxy. I want to fill up that whole box with a whole bunch of glorious stuff. And number seven is a game that's very unique. You've yet to see some videos on it. But I will tell you this much. Uh, learning has been so much fun. And um, it, it, I've got so many plays in it. I just have to feel com comfortable to do it live. And that is Tank Duels, uh, a GMT game that is just fantastic. Uh, the solo aspect of it is wonderful. It, it made that list just an all-around great experience. And number six is a game I discovered at BGG uh, Con this year. Um, and uh, we did a tape on it. Um, it's a World War II game, but uh, with a lot of Euro feel. And I had so much fun with this. I think it's just great. And that's Blitzkrieg. Um, you know, it's been a great year for PS... Uh, I think it's PSG, PSC. Um, they put out some great games. Red Alert, which is fantastic. Which, uh, you know, I, um, if I had more plays would be on this list. Um, but, but this one just stands out. It is just... Um, wonderful uh the art the size of it keeping everything in front of you the randomness uh just i i, I can't give this uh, i can't say more about this than 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 what i'm saying right now just a great great game and number five was number one on our solo list i love this game fantastic wonderful uh it's but it is just a solo game, and it is a great solo game, and that's Crowbar. Uh, the guys at Flying Pig, once again, you guys are the best. Herman, you're a genius. Fantastic, wonderful game. At number four 
is a game uh, that I really think uh, works with really well solo, but also works a lot better than Crowbar Woods uh, with uh, additional people, and that's why it's higher on the list. That's Zombicide Invader, uh, Breath, Bre uh, the Breath of Life, the paddle to save uh, Zombicide, because I was tired of Zombicide, and then science fiction, yeah, uh, just just fantastic. Number three, uh, I left this off a solo list, but I had a chance to play it with uh, my son. Um, I've had a chance to play it solo, and uh, I think it deserved to make this list. Uh, mostly, I got it, and, and since I've had it uh, for the last few weeks, I've played it to no end, and soon uh, you'll see painting videos on this, or maybe you've already have. Uh, of Nemesis at number three. Fantastic. Uh, so many twists and turns. Playing with other players is just great. I, I, I really enjoy this game. And number two, this game seems to be almost number two on every single list. And um, I just have to say, Madara was fantastic. Started off the year strong as a candidate for my game of the year. I absolutely love this game. I think this is a fantastic game and great in so many, so many ways. Uh, just another home run, and I really, really enjoyed this. And number one is probably my surprise of the year. Um, I didn't, I thought, oh God, another Cthulhu game. But my number one game of the year for me is Cthulhu Death May Die. Um, there's so many aspects of this that just make this game great. And I think it's uh, the fact that it is a fantastic um, solo experience. It plays better with uh, additional players. It tells this beautiful and rich story, which every Cthulhu game should. Um, it really stood out in so many different ways and is just fantastic. Plain and simple, nuts and bolts. Uh, just a great game. Honorable mention, um, uh, one of the reasons this didn't make it, I did not get enough plays of this. Um, I actually played Nemesis more, but because of the comp, I, I wanted to get, um, I played it just solo, and I haven't played this one particular game with additional people, or else I think it would have made this list, but it easily sits at 11, and that's Cloudspire. Uh, another game, uh, the only reason it didn't make it is I wanted to uh, get my hands on Awakening the Bear, uh, but Storms of Steel 3rd Edition is fantastic. Uh, I think it would. I think once I had the whole set, I could have done a few more things. I, um, I, I, again, not enough plays to make the list. Um, Afterlife, not enough plays. I think that easily could have made the list. Uh, and, uh, boy, there, there, there's, a uh, Pacific Rim is another one, which is sitting over there. Not enough plays. I thought it was very solid, but not enough models for it. So that didn't make the list. Uh, another one that was very close, uh, was Terminator, Fall of Skynet. Um, uh, just, just solid, solid experience. And, um, I, I, I just think, uh, just just fantastic fantastic stuff um a lot of things i just didn't get enough plays in to get this list but these things i always seem to be going back to playing and playing and playing again and not getting tired of them so uh there you go that is our list of uh games for 2019 uh like i said it's my list it doesn't mean anything uh, I'm sure there's a lot better lists that are more diversified, but for me, these are the things that I played and I loved, and that's what's most important to me. So until next time, it's your old pal Rob. Get ready for 2020. It ought to be a barn burner with more fantastic and wonderful games. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob saying we'll see you soon.